Hi guys, I have something very exciting to share with you. So a while ago I contacted uh, Ferris Wheel Press, which is a stationery company based in Canada and they are just the most aesthetic company I've ever seen, ever. Just look at this logo, it's shiny. And they agreed to put me on their new campaign, which shares their new ink collection. So I am just so excited to share this with you guys and let's do a quick unboxing. Okay, first of all, I need to share with you this freaking aesthetic box. Even the inside is gorgeous. It says, designed for an elevated everyday lifestyle. Our stationary products help dreamers to pick up their pen so the heart and hand can be reacquainted. I had some difficulty reading that, but it's so gorgeous. And what I got here are these amazing inks. So you're not even ready for this. I am freaking out. So they are all gold foil. Look at this gorgeousness. Everything is beautiful. And when you open them, so each bottle is like a treasure. <laughs> they come in a little sack. And, ah, oh, look at it. It's so gorgeous. Oh, I'm so excited. Comes with a little bit of fluff in there, but nothing big. So each of these colors have their little sec, and I will swatch them in a sec. Let's just see some of the inks now individually. So the first one that we saw was Cream of Earl. Okay. Cream of Earl, and the box is just absolutely stunning. Then we have Little Robania or Petite Robania, French. Hoo -hoo and the box again is just absolutely stunning and they all of course come in this stunning stunning little thing i just i love their whole aesthetic it's very based on oh look at this it's very based on um the indo industrial but the romantic side of it i really like it makers of iconic stationery and i'm just Super excited about this. I, I think you can tell. Next we have Strawberry Macaroon, which is again super pretty. And each box has a different design. So this one has macaroons all over. Oh, this is a little baby pink. It's lovely. These would also look amazing just on a shelf. Okay, so next one is Blue Cotton Candy and it's like tons of clouds all over. It's just so pretty. Okay, so as I was saying, sorry, my battery ran out. This is... <laughs> Where is it? Blue cotton candy. And I don't know, these are probably pretty pastel and soft. So I'm very excited to swatch them all. Okay, so next one is pink eraser. It's, and the box is just like almost schooled theme. And pink eraser. Ooh, oh God. Hope it's... Oh, it's almost red, but look at that, that's just stunning, that's just, comp oh, it's so beautiful, I'm, I'm freaking out, <laughs> I'm freaking out about this, I really love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, and finally but not least, we have Sweet Honeydew, so this one is very pretty as well, it has some peonies here, which I'm always up for, and, oh god, that's vibrant! I wonder if the ink will be vibrant. I highly doubt it, but ooh! I'm definitely gonna draw a beanie. <laughs> I'm so gonna draw flowers for this. I really have like all the colors to just draw a beautiful bouquet. And that's what I'm gonna do, I think. Oh, look at it! Oh, honestly, I'm... I'm beyond grateful for Ferris wheel company uh, Ferris Wheel Press they have actually been super nice and their PR manager is just the nicest person ever so yeah so these are all the inks and I'm just super excited to try them all so yeah 
let's see how this goes. Okay, so here we have the swatches. And they're so goddamn pretty. This is such spring colors. I can really imagine... Yeah, I really want to do flowers. The sweet honeydew, I wasn't sure I was gonna like. Because, I mean, it's green. But they're also pretty. I even like the, curl, the cream of earl. And I'm actually kind of wanting to test them out on the, the pens. Okay, so I redid the swatches because they were a little bit sloppy, so to speak. So, pink eraser, we have it again. Strawberry macaroon, little robinia, which again has the little blue undertones that I actually very impressed. Sweet honeydew is way more vibrant than I ever thought. And uh, blue cotton candy. It also shifts color a little bit, which I really like. And Cream of Earl actually really surprised me. It has a bit of a, a green undertone and a yellow. And I quite like this color. I already have the drawing planned out. Um, if it doesn't work, I might do another one. But so far, I'm very impressed with the colors and it's straight up my alley to paint some flowers. Okay, so starting with the first drawing, I basically wanted to do these longer versions because I had very envisioned a sort of, yeah, very long, almost bookmark-ish drawing, but I ended up scrapping this idea mostly because I thought it wouldn't be as friendly posting on Instagram, you'd say. This is just, I call it my practice because it was actually very helpful to see how the colors mix. I understood that these are not waterproof, which I was expecting anyway. I was not expecting them to be waterproof at all. I mean, they're supposed to be just fountain pen inks and they're not advertised anywhere that they are waterproof. So, but it was fun to see how they mixed. I think I did the mistake here of putting the cream earl on top of the roses. It just, I don't know, it muddied out a little bit how it looks. But I still quite like how this one turned out. It was just my first practice and it was quite helpful to just see how it worked. Uh, it was a little bit tricky at first to get a darker tone, but I just kept mixing the pink eraser and the little Robania. Uh, so I could just have a more, I don't know, more burgundy tone. But it was never very, very dark, but it was still lots of fun. I'm not great at doing quotes, my handwriting is not amazing, so... But since this is a stationery company, I really wanted to do some quotes. So yeah, so here I am writing, only you can decide what wrecks you. Okay, so I did that drawing and it worked out cute, but looking at it, it's not gonna be the greatest layout to post, so I did a few in a more squarish format. I still have this one and I might still paint it, um, but for now I'm just going to do this one. Same idea, just smaller uh, format, so let's go! So starting with the second drawing in this case, I on my other sketch I had some cream sentiments, so I really wanted to do those. And I don't know why, I kind of wanted to do this combination of blue cotton candy and uh, the cream of pearl. I don't know, it just seemed like it would turn out pretty well. And it did. I really like it. And these two actually, they mixed well and they layered really nicely. Because thanks to my practice drawing, I learned that it's better to not just layer them <laughs> a lot. So I just did a little bit. And here, since the Sweet Honeydew was a little bit too bright for my taste, I muted it with the Cream of Earl. So it was more of a... I never know the name of this in English, we just call it like dry green. 
uh, it's almost like an army green <laughs> and um, in this one the I just wanted to do not quotes just like leave me alone or don't talk to me just I don't know like rude flowers I guess this one is actually I think my favorite I just I really liked how the col color combination turned out because the cream of earl is not quite warm not quite cold col uh, tones it works really well it's a very muted neutral color and I really like how they're not. I did layer a little bit of the little Robania on top of that section so to push back some of the petals. I then did a darker tone with the little Robania and I believe I mixed the blue cotton candy to make a cool purple to the layers. Yeah, now I'm I'm not sure about this decision. I just did a few lines with the burgundy color I had made, but I don't know. I don't think it was a great decision because it mixed cool tones and warm tones in the line art, so I'm not entirely sure. Starting with the second flower, of course, I did a peony again, and one of the reasons I wanted to do this format instead of the long one is that the peony just didn't have that like blooming effect that it usually has. It was just very straight up and down. It didn't have that weight on top that peonies usually have. And I don't know, I just wasn't really feeling it. And I didn't want that to be my piece to present with these inks. So I'm very happy I redid this one. In this one, I actually did the contrary, like the other one. I did the lighter tone of Sweet Macaroon on the inside and then the darker tone of Pink Eraser on the outside. And you can't really tell that much because it ended up getting a little bit mixed up, but I like how it looks that way. And I also used the same green, that same muted green. I really like that color combination. And for this one, I just went for warmer tones. Here I can, you can see me mixing up a darker color. So just have a little bit more dark lines and details and just darken up the petals and so you can actually understand what's going on because you can probably tell I'm not really great at drawing peonies and they're pretty much a mess until I define the lines. I wish I could draw peonies like Jacqueline de Leon, she draws them like instantly. So the quote here is don't talk to me and <laughs> I don't know, I thought it was funny to do these ones and then I'm just doing my usual sparkles just because you can never have enough sparkles. These are the final drawings I did using the Ferris wheel press inks and they were tremendously fun, I have to admit, they were super super fun. Um, a quick note that I discovered while using these, these are not waterproof. Um, so you can see that after I passed over with a few layers, some of the color lifts up. So that's only a note for if someone's interested in getting these, these are not waterproof. But they do make some very beautiful effects. I, I really love the colors that these one turned out. Like, I don't know why I thought these colors would look nice, but I thought they would and I like it. <laughs> I like the effect that they did. So these are pretty cool. I really like them. And once again, this is not a sponsor. Ferris Wheel Press didn't ask me to say anything about them. They just asked me to share them with you and this is my opinion and yeah i had lots of fun and honestly the packaging 
the packaging guys this is also metal so it's super fun to unscrew and the packaging look at it here it is it's just so stunning it's stunning the boxes are so beautiful as well my favorite box is actually this one and i thought it wouldn't be my favorite just because it's such a muted color it's this one but i quite like it it has um, some tones and it's the one i've been using in my fountain pen while i was writing on my journal and i really like how it looks it gives it sort of a um, old-timey look i really like it i think it's the one i'll be using more for now and maybe then i'll jump to strawberry macaroon or maybe a little robinia pink razor is pretty cool as well so the color i think i i like the least maybe sweet honeydew just because i don't like green that much but still it was a pretty fun color to use i did mix them i mixed the i mixed the inks a little bit so they do mix pretty well that's also a note so you can make kind of your custom color i mixed it a little bit with i think was with the cream earl <laughs> i'm not entirely sure now to make it sort of a more muted green which is my more my alley so yeah they they mix pretty well i'm very impressed i haven't used the bullet journal that came with it yet just because just because <laughs> i'm saving it for when i'm done with my notebook as well so i really want to turn that into my bullet journal so when i start i will share with you guys the process because i have no idea how to bullet journal so might be fun <laughs> these are the ferris wheel press inks and i just want to thank you thank ferris, ferris wheel press again for being super kind and sending me these inks to try out if you want to give them a look i'll link them in the description below their website and yeah they're based in canada and their their shipment arrived very quickly took less than a week it was pretty cool i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i see you in my next one bye